Hello YouTube. Okay, so this video is going to be, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to attempt to kind of put my own flair on something that I saw in someone's video. And um, I'm going to put her name right here because I can't remember. <laughs> I've been watching so many videos. I can't remember who I watched. So anyway, um, I'm my, I say I'm going to put a different flair on it because I couldn't find the stuff that she was using. So I'm just going to do the best with what I have. So I went to the craft store and I just bought, um, I guess it's like balsa wood. It's kind of thick, but it's super, super light. Um, little piece of, um, round wood. It's like a little plate type thing. And what I did was, I know that looks like stain, but it's not. It is Heidi Swap, um, bark, acrylic paint, bark color. And, um, as you can see, I don't even know if she makes her paints like this anymore. I have had this for many years. <laughs> so anyway, I just kind of watered it down and sponged it on here with us with, um, um, you know, one of these little doohickeys. And then what I'm going to do is I tore a bunch of, um, fall colored flowers apart and I just spritzed them. I don't know if you, you can even see, I don't even know if you can see the glimmer on there. And I glimmer misted them gold. And I did the same with the leaves. And the leaves are just really super pretty in there. There you can see the shimmer. Isn't that pretty? I wanted it to be kind of, um, you know, festive. Because it's going to be a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. So, um, and I just got some little, some little baubles here. You know, some little sprigs. And these things, oh my gosh, are they messy. These little balls fall off all over the place. So anyway, I, I got a bunch of these and tore these apart. And I got a bunch of pine cones. And these smell heavenly. Oh my goodness. These smell so good. There's cinnamon and there's big chips of cinnamon in there. And so anyway, those are going on there. And then I got some different colored. I tore these apart and made little, um, made little sprigs out of them. And so those are going on there. And then some of the little stuff that came with the flowers. I would have preferred to do paper flowers on here. Um, like the one that I watched, but problem being my paper flowers are not here yet. <laughs> I, I put in a ginormous order from I am roses and you know, tap, tap, tap. I'm waiting. <laughs> so I'm sure this would be much prettier, um, with paper flowers because I really don't like the look of these, you know, artificial flowers. That one's still wet. Um, but you know, that's what I had to deal with. And you know, you do what you can do with what you have. So anyway, and so what I did is I got some, just some regular old, um, burlap. I bought that at craft warehouse. And what I did is I, and it's not going to show up here. It's going to look really streaky. Um, cause it's very, the light is very bright in here. Um, I don't have my alt light on. I have my spotlight on. I just rubbed some ink pads over it. You can see the difference. Here's what it looked like before and after. So I just took my, um, I just see it looks super streaky on the camera, but, um, it's not that streaky when you look at it. Um, I just took some different fall colored, um, ink pads and just kind of streaked them. You're not going to see any of this, but I wanted to get enough color in case something peeks out, but it's not going to be like stark like this one. It's just not going to be stark, you know, light colored burlap. So, um, you know, there's oranges and yellows and, um, kind of a burgundy and green and you know just all these fall colors that are in here I did some purple that's what the dark ones are it's dark it's like a plum color so anyway um and basically here's my little votive that I got isn't this gorgeous isn't that beautiful oh my goodness I just fell in love with this and it's kind of a copper color coppery orange color and this is gold and it's just beautiful and that's going to be the center That'll be in the center. I'm going to Mod Podge this onto here. Like I said, you're not going to see this, but you're, you're going to see the edge. So I wanted to make sure that I did it and you know, just took a second. I just went ahead and did the whole thing and I'm just going to Mod Podge this. So it sticks down because there's kind of a lip here and then I'm going to take my hot glue gun. If I can ever get it to work. Oh my goodness. We don't even want to go there. And I am going to start hot gluing all of this stuff on there. And then I think what I'll do after I get everything on there is I'm going to make a couple of, um, little embellishments that stick up 
out of the thing with maybe a little cute thing, you know, happy hell, you know, I have Halloween. Oh my gosh. I'm so stuck on Halloween still. Da, da, da. Um, you know, happy Thanksgiving or be thankful or, you know, um, thankful family or, you know, whatever. Um, I'll come up with something anyway. So that's what I'm going to do if I can get my glue gun to work. So this is a glue gun. I'm so buying a new glue gun, just so you know. My husband bought me this, and it's like one of those rechargeable, it's a cold heat. And I remember it working really, really well, but I haven't used it forever. And it's got a light and everything. It does not have, it does not have a um, precision tip. It has a tiny tip, but it's not a long pointed tip where I can like get into anywhere with. So, um, I'm having trouble because it's been so long since it, um, was used and I'm talking years. Thank you very much. I, like I said, I'm not a, a crafter. I am a crafter, but I don't tend to use hot glue a lot. And so, um, boy, is that changing? <laughs> anyway, it's one of those cold heat guns, but I'm not super thrilled with it anymore. And I don't know if it's because, um, my batteries just aren't you know, charged up yet. The green light's on. It's charging. The other one said the green light was on. So I don't remember. I'm going to have to read the directions on the stupid thing. Cause I don't remember if it like goes red when it's ready or goes whatever. Anyway, so I'm waiting. I'm at a point right now where I'm like, shh, shh, okay, I really want to get this done, but I don't have a glue gun. So, I mean, I could use my craft glue, but I just really want some, you know, super heavy, you know, stick them down and get them done. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I, one thing I didn't mention is I did spray this, um, with some acrylic sealer finisher, matte sealer finisher. I didn't want it shiny. I wanted it matte. Um, so I just went ahead and sprayed a couple light coats on there and, uh, you know, whew, getting a contact high. I actually did it outside, but I can still smell it a little bit, but it's dry. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do that so that, you know, the color wouldn't bleed all over everything. So anyway, I wouldn't want to ruin somebody's pretty tabletop, you know, or, you know, their, um, <laughs> their tablecloths. I think I might even put a piece of felt underneath this. So, um, and I'm going to put a piece of felt underneath this too, uh, or not felt. I meant cork. See, my brain's not working. I'm going to put a piece of cork under here because I don't want this to get hot. It's going to be sitting on burlap. So, you know, can you say fire hazard? Um, I'm, I am going to be giving this to someone and I have some flameless candles. They're little battery powered flicker candles. And that's what I'm going to put in here. Um, if they want to put a different candle in it when they get it, that's fine. That's up to them. You know, <laughs> I hope not to burn your house down. So anyway, um, I'm not a big candle fan, so <laughs> but, um, I mean, I used to be, but I mean, I love candles, but I have a cat and two dogs and a five-year-old. And so I don't do candles anymore just because. So anyway, um, I will kind of keep you apprised of this endeavor <laughs> if I ever get my glue gun to work. And if not tomorrow morning, I'm going to go buy a new glue gun. So anyway, stay tuned and see the rest when I come back. Hey guys, I'm back. I got it done. So <laughs> it's actually the next day because I fought with my glue gun all stinking night till like two o'clock in the morning. So I called my husband. He was in town this morning, dropping the dogs off at the groomer. And I said, I need you to do me a ginormous favor and go get me a new glue gun. <laughs> so he did. And I was able to finish this. So the colors, you know, I'm looking at in it. I'm looking at it through my camera and I'm looking at it while it's just sitting here and the colors in the camera are just funky but anyway like in the camera these are showing like they're purple but they're really kind of burgundy anyway so this is it turned out really pretty as i was waiting for my glue gun to try to do its thing last night i went ahead and just um edged i got my stickles out and i just edged everything i just put little you know, smudges of glitter. I just wanted it to be kind of, you know, pretty and festive and, and so everything has, you know, little glitters and, and, um, you know, I just kind of scuffed the edges of those and I put some little, 
um, ribbon loops inside here and you know the pine cones are here and this one is um, gold and and then you can see the tattered kind of um, the burlap under here but I just think it came out really it looks really it actually looks prettier in real life than it does you know sitting here so <laughs> anyway let's see if I can I'm trying to get it where I can you know get some deep whoop, get some light that will show the actual colors but anyway it's super cute and I'm gonna give it to my mom so anyway that's my little wreath I just hot glued it I just you know stuck these all on and I didn't kind of you know tried to balance the colors a little bit in threes you know I've got the darks over here and you know I try to keep everything I only had four of these little bunches so you know I usually don't do even numbers when I design something but anyway this is it and you know it's pretty low profile um you know from the table it only sits up about I don't know two or three inches three inches so and I kept everything below the level of this candle in case they want to put a candle on it so an actual candle or a tea light or whatever it wouldn't um you know it wouldn't <laughs> catch on fire <laughs> So anyway, I think I might just make a little a little tag that sticks up here or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe less is more. So anyway, it turned out really, really cute. I know it looks really busy on the camera, but in, 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 in real life, it's very pretty. So anyway, she'll love it. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm back again. I just can't quit messing with this thing. Okay, so what I did was I decided it needed something a little bit, you know, something sticking up out of it. So um, I just made some little tags to go, you know, in throughout the wreath or the um, centerpiece. So what I did is I I had some, um, I just glued these so they're, <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. Anyway, um, I had some... I didn't hot glue them. I should have got my hot glue out, but I, it tends to melt the plastic stuff. So anyway, I got these rounds. I had some chipboard round or some chipboard shapes, round and square and oval, and I inked it with, uh, Tim Holtz tea dye. I love tea dye. And, um, then I got some of that burlap scraps that I had, just this white burlap. And I had some scraps left over from when I did the, you know, the, the big one. And I just, cut out some shapes and I kind of frayed the edges and then I laid it down and I took my ink stamp pads and I stamped an orange and a yellow and a green you know just the fall colors that I'm working with and then um, I got some rub-ons I had these little word rub-ons and so I just rubbed them on some coordinating paper distressed the edge hit it with some you know just ran it across my ink pad to um, you know to dye the edge glued it on here and then I painted those little, um, these little clothespins, you know, these little clothespins here. I painted them with the same bark uh, color that I used on the original plate. And there, I just glued those little sticks. These are just little pieces of the flower stems that I had left over because these are going to be hidden. So it's not a big deal. I don't really care what they look like because they're going to be down inside the flowers. Um, and this one, for some reason, I'm having issues with. Maybe I should leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, so as soon as these dry, I will come back and I'll show you what they look like because I'm going to stick these throughout, you know, just randomly in in my little in my little centerpiece that I made for my mom. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back and show you the very final thing because I'm running out of time. I've got things to do today, so uh, I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, so here it is. And okay, well, my dog's just got back. Oh my gosh, my dog is shaved down to nothing. <laughs> anyway, this is it, the finished product. I just wanted to show you what it looks like with these little tag or the little, little um, the little flaggy things in there with the, and you can see the little clips. I'm sorry about my camera not um, zooming very well. I'm just going to turn it. Like silly. 
so that's it that's the finished one you guys so this was really fun i hope that my mom likes it it'll be a cute little centerpiece so anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later leave com comments and questions at the bottom and i'll talk to you later thanks bye